At that time, John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting. And people came and said to Jesus, Why do John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast in that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment. If he does, the patch tears away from it, and the new from the old, and a worse tear is made. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is destroyed, and so are the skins. But new wine is for fresh wineskins. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel passage, Jesus is contrasting the newness that he and his Gospel are bringing into the world as opposed to the old law or the Jewish law, which the Pharisees were used to following. What's the difference between the fasting of the Pharisees and the fasting that we as Christians do at Lent, for example? Perhaps from the point of view of the Pharisees, what they were doing when they were fasting is earning brownie points with God so that they could say that, see, I did all these things for you, O God, so you owe me a blessing. But for us Christians, we realize that there is nothing that we can do to gift or give to God for everything that we would offer to Him is ultimately a gift of His own. So much so that Jesus tells the Pharisees in the Gospel that because He is present with His apostles, there is no need for fasting. Indeed, there was a time when I was... Uh, a seminarian, when one of the youth in our parish youth group asked me, Father, why should we fast? After all, you see, Jesus is always with us. It was a very powerful statement and, and something that made me think. And then I responded to him, yes, young man, you, you are right. We don't need to fast because Jesus is always with us. But in the season of Lent, we also realize that there are many times that we are not with the Lord. And that's why we fast. We fast not in order to win brownie points with God, but we fast in order to say that, God, you are the most important thing in my life, I, even more than my food. Just like St. Anthony the Hermit, the saint of today, realized that God was his most important treasure. He realized that God was his first love. And he realized that there was nothing more important than doing the will of the Heavenly Father. And in a, a world that was corrupt, he decided that the best thing that he could do was to isolate himself from the sinful world and try as much as possible to live the Christian life. He showed us also a peaceful way of dealing with value conflicts. In the first reading, we see that a value conflict between the Israelites and the Amalekites leads to war. We already know that Saul had, or, or God had told Samuel that having a king was not a wise idea. Even though all the nations had their kings, those kings became warmongers. And we see the tragic consequences of choosing a kingdom as the political system for Israel in today's first reading. The church has developed a very uh, nuanced doctrine about what we Christians or how we Christians should approach war. It is a tragedy of our times and of every age that human beings have had to engage in war. But what makes things more difficult for us in our times is this tendency to accumulate weapons on the part of nations. The Catechism of the Catholic Church in 2317 tells us that the arms race is the most dangerous scourge of our times. But we Christians are called to be builders of peace. And so we ask the Lord for the grace in this Eucharist that having the new wine of the gospel in our hearts 
we may work for a world where there is no need for war. May the Lord Jesus, who comes to nourish us in this Eucharist, help us to be builders of peace in our homes, in our neighborhoods, in our cities, and in our countries and across countries. Amen.